What is going on, Joy Riders? Are you guys ready to vlog? Let's vlog. Today we're gonna be doing an install video of some parts with Laura. Laura. No team Laura. So we're starting this vlog off now while it's dark out because we're doing headlights. Mm -hmm. Bulbs. We are switching these over to an LED bulb. Right now they're halogen because the GT500s this year, they either came with, it either came with an HID or a halogen bulb. These ones are the halogen, the cheaper version, but we're gonna switch them over to LED, which the LED is better than all of those. Really? What? LED is better than halogen? Yeah. You're so smart, babe. Whatever. I'm so glad you know this information. Like anyone that wants to know that, I'll have them text you and ask you. Which headlights should I get? Halogen or LED? Which one's Anyways, better? Anyways. So Which one's better? Are you gonna do this install then? Huh? Yes, all right. We got some ox beams. Tell them, tell them about these. They look a lot better. That's it, they just look better. We've got the fog lights, the headlight bulbs. These are the high and low beam all in one. Will you slide the chair around? So let's open this up and show it to him. Uh oh, we got stickers. That's nice. I'll put those on my feet. Look at that. I've already opened this and taken a look at them just because I got super excited when these things came in. But check this out. These things actually have like a high speed fan built into them. And this is like, I don't know, what would you say? It's like an aluminum. It's like aluminum. And they are temperature sensitive. Oh yeah? What's that mean? They're sensitive to temperature. Really? Yeah, it's got the high speed fans built into them. And you want to explain to everybody what is in this box right here. What's this is so you won't have like error messages from converting from a halogen to an LED. Yeah, because the, the voltage, I guess, or the power is going to be a little bit different. So it's basically, essentially, it's kind of like a converter. We are just like winging all this information. If you guys want all the proper information, go on Oxbeam's website. It will be linked in the description. What are you doing? We're watching. You're watching? <laughs> Eric is like hiding. Hi, Liam. Are you spying on Mama and Dada? My little skeleton baby. So I was saying that if you guys want all the proper information, the description to Oxbeam will be listed in the description below. When I went on Oxbeam's website to kind of look around at different things, I, myself, I did have a, find a little bit of issue navigating. Well, this was also on my phone, but I found it was easier to go search under vehicle search and then search your vehicle. That was a lot easier for me. So I don't know if that may help any of you guys if you guys are looking for anything for Oxbeam. You got this? Yep. All right, let's do it. Those are the fog lights. I don't think it matters right or left. I think they're both the exact same. Um, I believe this plugs between those. I think. That's what I was trying to figure out. It didn't look like it connected to anything. Um, is it twist? Try it. Yeah. yeah. You ready? Yeah. That's that VMP right there. What do you think? It looks good, doesn't it? Yes. Don't tell me what to plug or unplug. Oh gosh. That's scary, babe. Don't tell me until after I pick the wrong one. Right? Or the right one. <sighs> Don't tell me. I think it's this thing down there. No, Better? no. Don't tell me. Oh my gosh, this is scary. That has to be it, right there. The gray one, yes, yeah, that's right it. right down there. That's what I was pointing at. No, you were pointing at something over there. No, I was pointing at that. Oh, well, well, okay. Right here, right? Yeah. That I'm touching. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna just unplug it, right? I think. Did you research this? No. It's a bulb. Why would I research it? Because. I've pulled the bulbs out of this. I pulled all the bulbs out to make sure. Well, then do you remember if I have to squeeze something? There's a tab on there. Oh. You do squeeze that tab? Yeah, there's a tab on the top. You gotta push it down. You got it? I'm pushing it. Hold on. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Gosh. Got it. Look at you. <laughs> do you not right. tell me anything? Well, you gotta take that bulb out. You gotta twist it out. You said I twist it out? Yeah, here, let me see. Don't. I got it. Oh my gosh. See? Okay. She won't let me do anything. Yeah, see? This is the old. Let's, let's show them like a comparison side by side. Yep, so you gotta put it in there. Okay. You gotta find the hole. You just gotta twist it. 
Yeah, yeah you gotta find the right. Time finding how to thread it or whatever. I got it. You got it? One hour later. Uh oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're good. Now we got this one. We're gonna have to just pop off the intake. Yeah. Look at you. Already a professional. Yeah. Then you just gotta unhook the wire. Then you're good. Babe, get me the arm off. <laughs> what? What are you doing? Bossing me around? We gotta hook everything up. Whoa. You gotta unplug it. Yeah, I know. It's, I can't remember now how I did it. You gotta. Here. Oh, yeah, that's right. The tab. Put this one back in the box. You got it? You gotta hook this up first. Oh yeah, we didn't do that on this one. What, what did they call this thing? The um, CAN bus. It's right there. It's written on the box. Oh. It can only go one way because they're two opposite ends. So you can't, you can't mess this up. Control freak. Okay. Yeah guys, look at all of our tags that we got up on the wall. While she's sitting there messing around with that, it's gonna take her another 20 minutes. But look at all these awesome tags. I wanna thank every one of you guys that have sent us in a tag. Thank you guys so much. We're filling up the wall. My favorite is Oregon. Oregon's your favorite? Huh? Yeah. Oregon's yeah. my favorite. Ooh, in Idaho. Idaho. Famous potatoes. All right, you got to screw this. I got to screw this? I can't get this one. That's what she I said. Need your muscles. Let me see what you did. JD is so strong. Here's a little trick. If you always back thread the opposite way, and then you'll feel it click into place, and then go back the correct way, it should go in smooth. Is that how you do it, babe? Oh yeah, that's how I do it. She's in there. All right, you got this? You ready? Let's do it. This is vacation. The big plug. You, did you get it? I got it. Awesome, did you tighten it though? Yes. You're using a jack. What? <laughs> you have a lift. Are you making fun of me? Cars turned around the opposite way, so. It has to be pulled in for the lift. So the car's facing the wrong way anyway. So are you gonna do the fog lights? Cause I don't wanna lay on the ground. I guess I have to. Hey, can you hand me my phone so I can see with the light? Oh. I have my PJs on. You got your PJs on? So I don't wanna get them all like dirty. That's the uh, stock fog light bulb. You have to tap the screen to focus. It's okay. already focused. Is it? Yeah. Fancy, Fancy Nancy. That's a show on Disney. Is it really? Fancy Nancy. Old versus new. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, and get that last fog light in, get everything wrapped up. Thank you. Are you All excited? Right. Yeah, I gotta put the intake back on. Did we zip tie this one up anywhere? No, I got the zip tie though, right here. Clean it up a little bit so it's just not like hanging out everywhere because then you'd be driving around here and shit clinking and clanking it. All right, put your intake back on. Yes, boss. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. The moment of truth. What do you think? I think they look a lot better. You think they do look a lot better? Yep, so this is the lights before halogen lights, and then these are the lights after, the LED yeah. lights. We're gonna do a road test before and after. So here's the road test before. Okay, so that is with just the regular lights on, with the fog lights on as well. That's fog lights off, fog lights on, high beams, That was the road test before. Laura and I, we're gonna hop in the car and we're gonna go do a road test after. We'll even do a side-by-side -side comparison for you guys so you can see the difference. But I can already tell the difference just by looking at it. Those things are extremely bright and I'm already liking these things, definitely. And I haven't even tried them out on the street, but let's go hop in the car and check them out. lights on. 
on. That's the fog lights off. Fog lights on. Now high beams. Wow. That's a significant difference. There you guys go. Ox beam, LED headlights on the GT500. Awesome. I like them. What do you think? Yeah. She likes them. And the install is super easy. If Laura can do it, anybody oh, can. Wait, JD. What? No. It was easy. It's just plug and play, right? Yeah, it was easy. Yeah. Well, she struggled with it. Whatever. Anybody is looking for a simple, easy way to upgrade to LED lights, my opinion, I think they're better than HIDs. So if anybody was ever trying to do an HID conversion or LED conversion, this is probably the quick and easiest way. It's just plug and play. They also make these, I believe, for pretty much any make and model car. So if you go on their website, they have them for just about everything. So no matter what kind of car you have, I believe they even do them for RVs off-road vehicles, motorcycle, everything, check them out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. If you're already subscribed, you're awesome. Welcome to the Joyride family, and I will see you guys in the next video, right? Peace.